All right, what is happening, everyone? It is Brian from SeacoastBeverageLab.com, and this isn't the Seacoast Beverage Lab podcast, so don't worry about it. This isn't a Twitch stream. It actually is actually a Twitch stream. We're going to be playing a game in a second, but this is the first of hopefully many beer hall reviews. I bought a ton of beer today from the Craft Beer Cellar in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and eight bottles to be exact. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put talk about two of them as I play a game. Once the game's over, I'll put two more up there. We're going to play four rounds. I'm going to talk about the breweries, talk about the beers. So let's see what we have first. I bought eight beers, six of which are from New Hampshire, two of which are not. So I'll get the two that are not out of the way. I have the Stone Coffee Milk Stout from Stone Brewery in Escondido, California. That's right up there. And I also have... My, one of my favorite breweries of, out in Burlington is the Switchback Slow Fermented Brown Ale, 22 ounce bomber. Get in there from Switchback in Burlington. So I'll put those in the game box, swap into a game, and we'll, I'll talk about both these beers. And uh, I know the label's coming in kind of bright. Again, this is the first time doing this. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and talk about these beers because I love both. These beers are awesome. So we're playing a game called Call of Duty right now. And again, if this is your first time, know that I play video games and talk about beer at the same time. This is Call of Duty on the Xbox One. My name is Robust Porter in the chat, and uh, an homage to the, Ro the Robust Porter of Swanny Nose. So let's talk about these beers while we're waiting to get in this lobby, because I might actually finish talking about the beers before we play a game. Maybe. Slow Fermented Brown. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a, it's a, short release as in it doesn't come out that often but i'm glad new hampshire has it slow fermented brown from switchback brewery in burlington highly recommend going there it is a uh it's a brown ale and the only time i actually had it was in the brewery itself so i'm looking forward to trying it in the in the bottle and i might even get to it tonight who knows but the stone milk stout i have not had before that's why i picked up a 12 ounce bottle of it and i i don't know it I love stouts. What many many of you might not know is I love stouts, so I'm gonna I'm looking forward to trying that one out. But I'll keep those bottles up there and uh, give you a little backstory of uh, of my love for both of these breweries. Once the game goes, I I've actually been to both breweries. I was lucky enough to get to out in San Diego a couple years ago, um, and I went up there and their breweries like the Willy Wonka of of breweries. It is a adult beer garden. It's like leave your kids at home, go to this outstanding beer garden. Um, tons of beers on tap, most of which uh, are brewed only for that place. And uh, I, if there's one brewery you have to visit before you die, it is that one for sure. Let's get in here. And I'll die instantly. But yeah, Escondido, California is not necessarily San Diego. It's actually maybe about, I want to say 45 minutes north of, of San Diego. But it is, uh, it's a great place. Oh, this guy's right there. But yeah, it's great. And actually, a fun fact about um, what relates Stone to Portsmouth is there's been a couple of brew, uh, beers made for made in Portsmouth by brewers from Stone. Uh, Greg Cook came out to make Cluster's Last Stand with Smoney Nose, um, a beer which Mitch Steele of Stone started uh, at um, Portsmouth Brewery with Todd Mott from Portsmouth Brewery. A little, uh, little, little side... Little side note for you. What more can I say about Stone? Except all their beers are awesome. They have the Enjoy Buy beers, which again, um, if for those that aren't, you know, well versed in the beer world, um, they made a beer that you have that it says Enjoy by a certain date. So you have to, you don't have to, but it says you enjoy this beer by this date before it starts to degrade. I've had I've had their enjoy by beers the day after, and uh, it's still fine. I'm still here, but um, yeah. So that's all about Stone. What? What? Oh my God! Come on now. Now, if I think about if I think about anything else about Stone, I'll bring it in. But Switchback, Switchback is one of my one of my favorite breweries in New England. It's a small brewery out of Burlington. And they make 
they make great beer. They have one of the one of the better pale ales in New England. So if, if you're a fan of nice nice light beers with but still packed full of flavor, well worth checking it out. But the slow fermented brown, I believe, and if it's uh, first time I seen it in the bottle, so I was excited to pick it up. It's a it's a nice robust brown and uh, chock full of flavor. Can't can't say much much more about it. It's awesome. I think it's one of those breweries that does uh, a couple one-offs as well. So if you go to visit the brewery at a certain time, you'll uh, you'll enjoy um, you'll enjoy a beer that you can't find anywhere else. What's up, Wildcat, aka Wolf, in the chat? I might actually switch out beers faster than I thought because these games go pretty long. But again, I got these beers at the Craft Beer Cellar in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It, a place you must stop at if you ever if you ever come to New Hampshire. It's it's an awesome place. And I suck at this game. But yes, quick recap. We have the switchback. The slow fermented brown. Can you get that in the candle a little better? Nope. And we also have the milk stout from Stone, so we'll put those away. As this game's actually half over, so we're still pretty good timing. Now we get some New Hampshire beers. I got the Millie's Oatmeal Stout. Bring in the, the big camera for a second. It's in a can. I, it, so it's called the Millie's Oatmeal Stout, but it's brewed by Stark Brewing Company in Manchester, New Hampshire. I also have the, Nice, thanks for killing me. The Belgian Mare Brewery, Mill Hollow Saison. Get that in the big can for a second. Let's see if that comes in good. Nice, a, a bigger photo of the, of the two beers. You can get a look at it. So the Millie Stout, I'm well versed in. I love it. It's built. It's made from a brewery called Millie's Tavern in Manchester, New Hampshire, and. If you guys like dark beers, I mean, come on, it is, it is a, it's a great oatmeal stout, smooth, awesome, but it's in a can now, which is great. The, the brewery, Millie's Tavern, is, uh, is, it's, it, it's an odd thing. So, Millie's Tavern is in Manchester. Within Manchester, they package beers under the name Stark, Stark Brewing Company, which made this beer. So, it, it's the Stark Brewing Company's Millie's oatmeal stout. It's awesome. Totally recommend it. I do recommend going down to Millie's and checking it out if you ever find yourself in Manchester, New Hampshire. 19 of their own beers on tap. More than any, more than most breweries can do. Look at that, dropping this right in there. I'll be the first to go in. I guess not. Jeez, let me in there. Ah, okay. But yeah, nice 12 ounce can. They come in six packs. Uh, they used to have it in 22 ounce bombers, but I didn't see 22 ounce bottles there, so that's that. The the second the second beer I got next to uh, Millie's is from a brewery in Alstead, New Hampshire. Which, coming from New Hampshire, I've never heard of this heard of the town, but it's Alstead, New Hampshire. It's the Belgian Mayor Brewery's Mill Hollow Saison, and I just recently heard about the Belgian Mare Brewery from the Tap Handle Show, which is the podcast from some guys in New Hampshire. Wait for it. Oh, no way. So yeah, the Tap Handle Show just had the brewer on their latest episode, and they were talking about beer, and I saw this beer in um, craft beer, so I wanted to pick it up. I haven't tasted it yet, so I can't speak much, much about the brewery. I think they've been around a year, maybe a little less. But um, I'm looking forward to it because Saison's, even though it's winter, Saison's kind of a kind of a, a, a summer beer to some. But I enjoy drinking nice, nice light, hopefully lemony citrus uh, Saison's. But I uh, didn't say much else on this besides uh, brewed and bottled by Belgian Mare in Alstead, New Hampshire. So I'm looking forward to that. Most of their bottles look like this, kind of a, a basic label. But I think they have two, two or so on uh, on the shelf. So again, the Millie's Oatmeal Stout and the Belgian Mayor Brewery Mill Hollow Saison. And I think I'm going to, right when I'm done with this review, 
put this baby right in the old fridge because I'm a huge Saison fan. Thanks to uh, Grass Valley Greg in the chat, aka at BM Watts on Twitter. The next two, I only got, I got two more. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, I got, I have four more left. So nice intermission here. Could, couldn't have a chance to talk. So I got the Stone Face Brewing Company Rye India Red Rye Ale, and they've had this beer for a while. Stone Face is out of Newington, New Hampshire which is right next to Portsmouth, and they brewed this beer f for the first time last year with the now ex-brewer of Portsmouth Brewery in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and nice nice bite to it, big rye fan. It's a great beer. Uh, now they have it in bottles. You can also get it in growlers when it's available at the brewery, which I which I had before. Huge, huge fan. Um, if, for those that don't know anything about Stoneface, you can check out the SPL podcast, um, SPLpodcast.com. They were just on a couple episodes ago. But they make awesome beers. Very, very hop harsh beers that are just super bite to it. Awesome beers. Can't say enough good things about the guys. They're great. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely a great beer, and it's it's a nice shape, nice bottle shape to it. I'll bring it up to, to my camera, but it's a nice like a old engine oil bottle. It's like a sixteen ounce kind of sixteen point nine ounce bottle shape to it. Pretty cool. Um, and then they have a nice description. Everybody's got their thing. For some people, it's campfires, laughs, and music. For others, it's more strenuous, going for a hike, a ride, or a run. We could we could list more, but beer, but beer labels are small. Do your thing, try new things, repeat, and try a stone face. We think you'll like that thing too. So that's pretty cool. Dedication, those guys were awesome. So pick it up if you can, and if you're in New Hampshire, visit them, as they are, they're great. Tis the season for dark beers. It's winter out, and I picked up the roast by Henniker Brewing Company. It's their winter seasonal, and it is one of my all-time favorites from the, from the brewery. The brewery is about two years old, going on three. This is a, a coffee milk stout. I know what they call it. They actually call it a, uh, a stout. Yeah, a stout with coffee added, and it's a pretty sweet label. It's got like a. Uh, is the camera getting that in there? Yeah, it's like a cup of coffee there. It's real nice. I'm a huge dark beer fan. Like, no, nothing pleases me more than dark beer. And uh, these guys do it right. And Chris Shea at Henniker is like a, a master of porters. He, you know, he, he's like, he studied dark beer and he perfects it. It is so good. And I suck at this game right now. But the beer's great. It's the second year out. It's a seasonal, meaning it comes out once every, every season. Um, I wish it were every year, but uh, they have a... They already have a porter, a strong porter, called the Working Man's Porter that does the job. Um, and that's that's around all year. You can get that thing at Working Man's Porter all year, but this you only get once a year. I highly recommend it. Nice coffee taste to it. Very robust flavor. I say that a lot, but it's just robust kind of means nice and sm almost smoky, but uh, a nice big taste to it. Come on now, look at that. Oof, a little knife to the face there. <laughs> Come on, how you gotta love talking about beer and video games at the same time. This is crazy. So I'll, I'll give like a three second break to play some of this game. So you guys you guys can know where, where I'm coming from. At least a couple times, uh, I would say, a couple times a week I'm playing live on twitch.tv slash robust underscore porter as it shows up on the top. So for those that are coming in for the beer world, you can expect video games and beer talk pretty much 24-7 when I'm playing. Um, but yeah, I love beer and I love video games. And to be able to do both at the same time, look at that. I mean, no, there's nothing better. And especially when you suck. It's awesome. To recap, it's the the Roast by Henniker Brewing Company, Henniker, New Hampshire, and the Stone Face India Red Rye. I highly recommend both. That's why I bought them, because I've, I've had them both, so I can easily easily recommend those bad boys. I think someone's coming after me, so let's hold on a second. Let's get you in on the action here. The name of this game is called Kill Confirmed. It means your kill doesn't count unless you grab the dog tags off your dead enemy. 
In this case, that was me. Two more beers after this, and then that'll be the end of the beer hall. And let me know what you guys think, like, this is my first one of these beer halls in general. Also, talking about beer at great length and playing video games, so I'm hoping to meld the two pretty well. So hopefully it works. Actually, I'll find a nice place to hide and get... Oh, maybe not. Who's coming in here? Wait for it. Usually, usually, Misery has company, so where the hell is... Oof, okay. That's a great time to stop right there. Stone face red rye. Bring it in hot. Boom. And the roast. Henniker. So the roast comes in at 6% alcohol, 55 IBUs, and the red rye comes in. Oof. As the control rope goes off the table. It is 6% as well. So check it out. Next and final, wait, did I say, yeah, final two. I have the Fireside Smoke Porter, the Winter Seasonal from 603 Brewery. Checking it. Nice little campfire on the, on the label. I also have, very excited about this one, so I say the best for last, and I actually put it in the fridge because I'm going to have this later on tonight, is the PBC Alt, or the PBC Squared Alt by the Prodigal Brewery. And uh, with a brand new label for those New Hampshire beer fans, uh, Paul Davis out of uh, Prodigal Brewery has come up with some new labels. And uh, this is the Alt Beer up by, uh, by Prodigal Brewery. One of the coolest brewers in New Hampshire, um, and one of the one of the rarest one of the rarest beers you'll find in bottles around. And I believe uh, the Craft Beer Cellar in Portsmouth is one of the only ones that you can get it at. So definitely go visit Mike at uh, the Craft Beer Cellar and, and grab some of this beer. I bet it's going to be good because his the product of beers are awesome. I, I, I love his beers, and uh, I can't wait to try this one. Um, they both have been on the podcast, uh, sblpodcast.com. Well worth uh, well worth checking both those episodes out. Uh, Paul's Paul's a great, uh, he's a mentor to, to many brewers that have come on the scene in, in New Hampshire. And um, we, we ju literally two nights ago had the crew from 603. Uh, we had Greg, or I'm sorry, Jeff. Tamsin and Dan on the Seacoast Beverage Lab podcast to talk about their brewery and they mentioned the beer and all their seasonals and I mean great beers come from those guys as well but uh, yeah to totally recommend it I have, have yet to try his old beer um, I, I bet it's good but I'm, I'm a fanboy going into it because I love his beers uh, he usually does like the German style beers Hefeweizens, Marzins, um, and it's from up, way up in uh, Effingham, New Hampshire, which sounds like I'm trying to leap out of swear all the way in F, Effingham, but no, check it. And uh, I don't know if, I can, if it'll come in good, but his logo is pretty cool. It's like a, how's that come in? Eh, we'll work on it. But yeah, it's very cool. And then I've, I've yet to try this, the smoke porter from 603, but uh, if it's anything like their other, uh, they're the beers. I fully recommend it. Um, that, yeah, that, that'll do it. So again, to recap, I can do that. I'll back out and do a, do a quick recap of what I got. Again, I got the Alt Beer from Prodigal Brewery out of Effingham, New Hampshire. I got the 603 Brewery out of Londonderry, New Hampshire's Fireside Smoke Porter. Checking that out. Look at that sweet label. Look, almost looks like you're in the fire. I got the Switchback Slow Fermented Brown Ale, Bamski. I've got the Belgian Mare Brewery's Mill Hollow Saison. Boom. I got the Stoneface Rye from Stoneface in Newington, New Hampshire. From Henniker, New Hampshire, the Henniker Brewery's The Roast. Boom. Ch uh, coffee Stout. And the Millie's Oatmeal Stout 
in a can. Put that in the old screen there. And finally, I got the stone coffee milk stout. So that'll do it for the beer review for right now. Um, I'm gonna I'll go upload this, and then I will uh, be back on later. But for those that are coming in from the beer world, twitch.tv slash robust porter. I'll be playing games, talking about beer all this all the time because beer and video games go together like beer and video games. It's just that simple. And uh, for those that are coming in from the game world, uh, if you ever find yourself in New Hampshire, now you have a, a wide array of beers to check out from the state. And if you're in Portsmouth, be sure to go to the craft beer cellar in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Mike's a great guy, has great, great beer. Not much else to say to that. So I'm going to stop the stream for now, but I'll be back in a little bit. And uh, cheers. And I can't lift all these beers up at once, but if I could, I would raise them high. So.